Right inside this building are soft cell labs where researchers are exploring the possibilities of printing live organs and tissues. Austin, Danny, the State of City address is meant to highlight things from 2016 while laying out the vision for the plans of 2017. Hundreds of thousands of people are walking down the mall on their way to the final destination in front of the White House. You can see as you look around just a sea of signs, a sea of people, a sea of pink hats. <laughs> Welcome back. European diplomats arrived early today for meetings in Luxembourg to negotiate the terms of Britain's exit from the European Union, the so-called Brexit. The ministers from the European Union countries arrived one day after the EU and Britain agreed that negotiations need to be accelerated. Welcome back. Now, it almost never snows around these parts, so real snowmen are out, but you can still piece together a winter wonderland at home. Welcome back. $2.5 billion. That's the estimated Hurricane Irma damage to Florida agriculture. One piece of the pie, $180 million in potential losses for fruit and vegetable farmers. Takachali, the oldest and largest community for Floridians with developmental disabilities, spread Christmas cheer early this year. Their 33rd annual Christmas tree lighting ceremony is this Thursday at 6.45 p.m. However, festivities began early this morning for a holiday parade. WUFT's Mary Grace Scully went to the Takachali Holiday Parade. What was the environment like? Ken McGurn and Rod Smith are walking away disappointed tonight after losing their respective elections. But we are still waiting on those general election results for the president. Donald Trump's campaign rally started at noon. Most of the supporters are now inside Fox Theater, but across the street, protesters are still singing, chanting, getting across their message. Fortunately, the protesters have remained civil throughout the morning. Lock her up. <laughs> it wasn't hard to tell that the thousands of people who attended Donald Trump's rally had two things in common, their trust in the Republican nominee and their distrust in the opposing Democratic nominee. When asking about Hillary Clinton, a liar, deplorable, liar, liar, pants on fire. <laughs> But of the thousands, one didn't feel the same way. I'm here to peacefully uh, support the candidate of my choice and uh, to peacefully protest the candidate at this rally. But most of the supporters today have faith that Trump will take the White House. I talked to an official who said there should be 11,000 people here today, which puts this venue over capacity by 4,000 people. Don't believe what the polls are saying because these Trump rallies are full of people that want a change. He made us believe in ourselves again. He made us feel as if we were we were real we were really who we are in this world. Many women were chanting women for Trump. So I asked how they felt about the comments Trump was heard saying about women this past weekend. That that was eleven years ago. Does not matter today. Anything he said, I've said four times as bad. Women's rights are under attack. What do we do? We fight back. Hazel Levy was one of the hundreds of thousands of people who took part in the Women's March on D.C. Everyone here is for one common goal, and that's equality for women's rights and equality for everyone. To make a statement, to push forward an agenda that's good for the people of the United States. I mean, this, yeah. is, this is the future. We have to make it ours again. I'm marching for my kids. Yeah. Just one day after Donald Trump was sworn in as America's 45th president, the marchers challenged his administration to respect the rights of women and minorities. To show solidarity with uh, all the other people for the causes here and to show my objection to our current president. There's two sides to every story. I can only share our side of the story. And our side of the story is that, like Donald Trump, the biker is very outspoken. And if your morning commute takes you through lacrosse, be prepared to budget a little extra time for some detours. Cleanup continues across north central Florida, and many residents continue to pile debris on curbs. Those piles are full of branches, sticks, and palm fronds, but many of you are asking what happens to all this debris. In Hernando County, a middle school teacher is fired after a controversial assignment. The worksheet titled, How Comfortable Am I?, had 41 questions that challenged eighth graders to consider situations some parents thought were too loaded. And our news team will bring you another show tomorrow at 5 o'clock, but your Florida news is always on at WUFT.org. Have a good night.